Warhim in town was electrified as Barista Kenny Masogbo, popularly known as the Rice Man, was given a warm welcome by residents and supporters from different political parties. Barista Masogbo thanked the people for showing him love by voting Governor Gavin Obasaki for a second term in line with his appeal that the governor means well for the people, owing to his developmental strides in all sectors. The former PDP governorship candidate thanked the people of Asia and Southeast local government for their unity, which reflected in the massive votes for the governor in the locality. I told the governor that I was coming to say thank you to my people and he said, please can say me well to the people and thank them very well for me and say to them, thank you for voting for me, for the confidence what one, two, three, four and the whole Asian Southeast had for Basaki by voting and returning him to office. The rice man, as he is popularly called, also meant with the divisional police officer in charge of a Woimi division to sympathize with him and police personnel because of the destruction of police facilities. He urged them not to be discouraged in the fight against crime. Barise Masopo also appealed to the people of East and South East local government area to cooperate with the police in the fight against crime. I want the people we are loving people. I Some party leaders and residents described Barista Ken Maswagbon as a visionary leader with impeccable character. As you all know, Ken, he is quality come to assure the people that Obaseki is committed to fulfilling all his electoral promises that he made. We are gathered here to celebrate, celebration of victory. Barista Ken Maswagbon has decided to call all of us here to tell every one of us thank you for the support we gave to our governor. We are celebrating because we have won the election. It is necessary that we come back to the community and say thank you for making the victory of Godwin Abasaki come true. Barista Ken Masogmo has in the past years engaged in philanthropy through distribution of bags of rice to residents of the 18 local government areas in the state and has offered scholarship to students. Sharon Ajay reporting.